from Tribe Athletics TV. Welcome to Football Media Day. Hello again, everyone. This is Jay Colley. We have big Carl Fowler with us on that defensive front line. He has been a star for the Tribe in only his sophomore year. Looking forward to seeing uh, old number nine. Yes, I'm going to start out that question. It's because it's not old number nine. Last no. year, 96. How did that yes, happen? Yeah, so when I first got here, um, you know, they sent us a number request form, and I requested nine and six, and Shane decided to give me both. You know, <laughs> so as a, as a freshman, you, you kind of get the rough end of the stick. Um, but I, uh, you know, I asked for it, I got it. Um, I think it looks pretty cool having your hand in the dirt, having the single digit number, so I'm excited about it. Well, tell us about that hand in the dirt side of the football. That sure. defensive line appears to me to be the really strength of maybe the entire team, but certainly yeah. the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, I mean, we like to say that. It makes us feel good about <laughs> ourselves. Um, obviously, we got a ton of speed on defense, but that defensive front is gonna be strong for us this year. Um, we got some big guys up there, guys that can play, uh, and we're hoping to disrupt games. So that 3-4 defense, um, tell us how that has changed sure. your role, or has it changed your sure. role? Yeah, so last year I played mostly in the boundary, um, and this year I'll move to the field. Um, but as far as the actual technique, it hasn't changed that much for me, because last year I played over a tight end a lot, um, so the technique was pretty similar to what I'm doing now. So I had a little bit of a leg up on the guys in the spring. Um, and was able to actually help out a little bit with the, the technique that we're playing now. But, you know, like Coach Brown has said, we're pretty multiple in what we do. And, you know, we're going to give teams a lot of different looks, be very exotic with our pressure. So we're excited about it. Talk to me about Carl Fowler. Sure. Uh, where are you from, your major, maybe some of your hobbies? Sure. So I'm from Durham, North Carolina. I'm a public policy major, which I'll be finishing up in the spring. Um, I'm actually starting a minor this year in uh, organizational management from the business school. Um, you know, outside of football, the guys at the house, we play uh, NCAA 14 because it was the last game they played on the PS3. You know, the graphics are terrible. <laughs> um, but, you know, when we get together and hang out, it's kind of whatever, um, whatever is on the game, on the, you know, the game, whatever we're playing. We, lo we watch a lot of football. Um, so, I mean, obviously during camp, we can't get out that much um, to do other stuff, but whatever we can get get together with the guys. You know, you told me coming into the interview that you actually ran track. I think it was in uh, element, maybe yeah. uh, middle school. Tell us, uh, did, uh, did you ever play any other sports in high sure. school? Yeah, so I get clowned about that for a little bit. I, uh, I ran cross country my seventh grade year instead of playing football. Um, had to slim down a little bit, <laughs> but it turned out okay. I played baseball, you know, all through elementary, middle, high school, um, and then played basketball as well. And then my senior year kind of just devoted it all to football, and now we're here. First baseman or catcher? <laughs> so I played first base, and then I actually got moved to outfield. Uh, I wasn't quite as big back then. You know, they kind of just had me stand out there and then go in and strike out. So, <laughs> Thank you very much for your yes, time, sir. and good luck this no year. Problem. Thank you.